Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. Last time, we uh, did the Rushlight Tournament, and we went to Little Town, where the pirates were, where we found we had been set up by the Magister of, um, or the Magistrate of Pitax, into killing the Riversong uh, trading house people. Um, so Pitax has kind of set us up to look like a, a villain, which is fine. We'll play the villain for them if they want us to be. And we'll take their land. So it's all good. But we have to wait for Pitax's response to all that. Dare. In the meantime, we got a lot of companion quests to do. So first, let's talk to Lindsay. Oh. I thought she still had part of her quest left. Wait for the work. Oh, wait. You just gotta wait for the book to be finished. Okay. Never mind. Uh, they want to meet outside. So does, um, what's his face? Tristan. Amiri wants to meet in the tavern. And was there another person? Do we have another quest? No man's slave. Talk to Ragonga. Talk to Octavia. Oh, they have different quests. Okay. Cool. Storyteller. I don't know if I found anything, but I found that. Okay. Uh, anything to do with these shards? Nope. Okay. I'll leave you alone. Let's head on out. We also... I'm going to check the shops for... Um... For a, um... For an emerald, too. So we can get that quest done, hopefully. I wonder if we can go back to the Rushlight Tournament area and uh, buy things if we wanted to. Because it did have that belt of mint or physical perfection too, which would have been good. But it was so expensive. I think it was 200,000 gold. I probably should have bought it though. Yeah. Oh well. I don't know if we find another one later. Okay, so they are all over here waiting for me. Um, I guess I could talk to them now. Hey, what's going on, guys? Reg? Regonger stands beneath the tree, gloomily looking down on the city below. Ah, uh, there you are. Well, we found my tribe. Now we just have to go... Now we have to go ourselves... Go have ourselves a friendly chat. The half-orc clinches his fists. And what about Octavia? Did you learn anything about her family? We did. Turns out she's... Stop. No, I'm shutting up. That's her news to tell you. How'd you end up figuring it out? Oh, that's another story entirely. We looked through Janesh's books for a while. Found where he bought us from. From who. And who helped him. And we got all we could from them. But checking up on that information would have meant traveling all across Numeria. And half of the River Kingdoms. As you might recall, it wasn't exactly quiet here at the time. Not that it ever is, right? <laughs> Uh, but you know, we'd never leave you to clean up mess, a mess like that yourself. Thanks, man. We ended up hiring a petty, brave, a pretty brave crew, headed by a good scout. We can't do everything ourselves, right? They pulled some strings, followed some leads, and figured everything out for us. Well, almost everything. The most important parts, Octavia and I will find out for ourselves when we pay our families a visit. Are you looking for revenge? Not sure what I want yet. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe might be enough just looking at these freaks to be sure nature's punish, punish them well enough without me. I'm really just looking for some closure, that's all. So, who's your tribe? The sewer rats. Wait, no, that's not it. The crab lice? Ah. The threadbare moles? Man, I just can't seem to remember. Alright, the dung pig. The dung pigs. The half orc gives you a lopsided grin. Fine, fine. They called themselves the sharp fangs. Good reason. Regonger grins, displaying his teeth. Smaller than an orc's, but still large and sharp. They have kids with orcs to strengthen their blood. Not bad, huh? They breed themselves like pedig like pedigree cattle. So I've really been told. So I've really been sold twice. First by my orc so of a mother, who took some gold to push me and my brother out, never to see us again. Then my father chose which of us to keep, and which to sell to the slavers. Treated it, treated like an animal my whole life. I'm surprised I'm not barking on all fours. 
They tried to turn you into an animal, but you kept your humanity. That's something to be proud of. We're all animals. Some of us just have a thicker veneer of civilization than others. You don't bark, though. You go straight for the throat. Everyone who helped make you an animal will regret it bitterly. And we're all animals. Some of us just have a thicker veneer. <laughs> well said. If that's the case, I really want to meet these those pieces of shit and show them what a true animal can do. The half -orc shakes his fist. All right, let's go meet your tribe. All right. Octavia. Octavia pensively fiddles with a small metal trinket while she waits. It takes her a moment to notice you as you approach. Oh, hi. It seems we haven't been properly introduced. Allow me. Octavia Della Fiorni. Heir to a noble title, a family manor, even a coat of arms with a motto. With a sad smile, Octavia shows you the trinket she's she was playing with. It's a fibula, decorated with a coat of arms, a butterfly, and an arrow. At the bottom, you see the motto, Serve, lo serve solely my conscience. What about Reg? Did you find anything about his past? Yes, but he'll tell you everything himself. So you're from a noble family. I could hardly believe it myself, but there's no doubt. I'm the missing daughter of Marchioness Della Fiorni. Missing. That's what they're calling it. How'd you discover all this? It took a lot of work. After going through Janesh's le ledgers, not only did we find information about our purchase, we found a wealth of other data as well. Connections, suppliers, meeting places. But tracking it all down ourselves would have required crossing half the river kingdoms and all of Numeria. We couldn't abandon you. So we did the boring but practical thing, like kings or their entourage might do. We hired a team of sleuths to follow the trail. And they found everything. Who bought us, who we'd been sold to, and where we're from. Finding my family was relatively easy. The Marchioness was already looking for me herself. They needed to put a few pieces together to realize I was the missing heir of the Della Fiorni family. On the other hand, Reg's tribe had to be found with a looking glass. But it's no matter. We certainly paid them well for their troubles. Do you know where, the fa where to find your family? There isn't one, really. The Della Fiorni family was waning before I was born. My mother's the last one. She's living in Pitax, in a small townhouse. I'm going to pay her a visit, and I'd like you to accompany me. As you wish, Your Excellency. It would be an honor to serve you on this excursion. Fine, I'll travel with you. You should forget about it. As you wish, Your Excellency. Octavia looks at you, confusion written across her face. At first, she seems a little offended, but a moment later, she's bent in half with laughter. Excellency. Oh, I can't. My Excellency, a highborn marchioness of the highest rank. Whew. Octavia wipes tears of laughter from her face, her eyes. Don't make me laugh so hard. Just look at me. Devils take me. What kind of marchioness am I? I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> you don't, you don't think I'm going to Pitex to inherit a title, do you? But thank you anyway. The title's not important. I just want to see my mother. Of course. Look at our beautiful city down there. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? A little, uh, a little unstable looking, but lovely nonetheless. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Tristan. Hey, buddy. You've come. Tristan tilts his head to the side and remains silent. You notice he's holding something in his hands. It's so strange. I don't know if I should be glad or frightened. Anyway, thank you for finding some time for me. He turns his head. If it weren't for his blind eyes, you would imagine he's looking into the distance. Since you freed me from Nyrissa's power, I've had time to think about what happened to me and what Nyrissa did to me. About what she truly did. When I found myself here, without my wings in a mortal body, I was terrified. And I believed everything she told me, for I believed it was she who'd stolen my freedom. At last I discovered that Nyrissa had lied to me, and ever since I've sought a way to regain Serenray's gifts. And do you know what I realized? No one is capable of taking the diva's gifts granted by his creator. Tristan's voice is barely audible. No one except for the Dawnflower herself. So you were made mortal by Serenray herself? He nods. I found no other explanation for what happened to me. Nerissa's power is great, but not so great as to turn angels into mortals. I wanted to know if the way back to Serenray is open for me. I spent endless hours in prayers, asking for but one thing. A sign, a vision, 
the portent. A single word. And all I got in return was silence. Tristan smiles. Tristan smiles crookedly, hiding a grieving, gr grieving grimace. I wanted so badly to do something extraordinary, and it appears that I succeeded. I fell so low that even my most merciful lady couldn't forgive me for my sins. But the goddess still grants you spells. Yes, perhaps this weak hope is the only thing that keeps me from losing my mind to despair, or is this meager pittance for but an eternal reminder of what I had lost. Tristan stops. No. My merciful lady may be strict, but she's not capable of such unforgiving sanction. He straightens himself. Anyway, I didn't ask you to come listen to my whining. I do not wish that my mortal deeds will end at deception and betrayal. It has cost me so much. Tristan shows you his hands. You see a crumbled leaflet, one of the invitations for the kingdom of the cleansed. I wish to put an end to at least one evil that Nereus has spawned. I'm asking for your help in this. These cleans will simply not rest. It's strange, actually. The goddess who demanded your death was Nyrissa, and after the kingdom failed in its mission, she broke all ties with the first faithful. Yet still, this yet still his followers seek your death. Do they actually hope to return to her favor? What are you going to do when you find the kingdom and the first faithful? Tristan's forehead, a moment ago creased in worry, becomes smooth and his voice grows tranquil. Consider, my na consider me naive, but I still believe even the blackest soul can find repentance. I will try to find it, even in the dark souls of the cleansed. I will not deny anyone of saving grace. Maybe you can finally tell me who the first, this, first clean, this first faithful is? And what is the kingdom of the cleansed? I only know what I could overhear, or what Nyrissa boasted to me. The one called the First Faithful is a former priest of Arastal named Rethgert. When the Bloom came to his village, he lost his faith. Arastal didn't protect his congregation, and Rethgert was stripped of his position. After this, he set off for the Temple of the Elk to pray to his god one last time, and if he didn't answer, to throw curses in the face of the idol. Like so many others, Rethgert was fooled by Nyrissa. She pretended to be, to be the goddess of these lands, told Rethgert of the curse of the king, and promised him untold gifts in return for the death of this ruler. It was she who invented the name of this new cult devoted to herself, and made Rethgert its high priest. She knew just how to flatter him, in his moment of weakness and despair, and he, in his turn, did everything he could to draw his former congregation into this vile cult. Where do we start? A faint smile appears on Tristan's face. I knew I could trust you and ask for your help. Thank you. I mean, these guys are trying to kill me, so. I've heard that the cultists of the kingdom have been sighted once again, but now they no longer shout their slogans in broad daylight. No. They crawl from their lairs under the cover of darkness to abduct people for sacrifice. At least that's what's being said. We should return to their temple without walls, where they once held their rituals. Of course, the first faithful is not so foolish as to return to the scene of his crime, but perhaps another one of the cleansed has visited this meeting place, held rituals, remembered the past. Gods know what else. If we're lucky, we might find something there. All right. All right, um, let's check the merchants as we make our way to the tavern. We also need to sell. You there. Go and sell everything. Do, 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 do. I'll hold on to it for now. Don't need all this booze. It's actually kind of heavy, the booze. Actually, no, we want to keep the milk. Even though it's probably gone sour by this point, right? You would think. The tea probably was fine to keep, too. 
Oh, well. I don't think we need the rope. We'll keep one just in case. Uh, anything else I'm missing? I don't know if we need a shovel, but I'll hold on to it. All right. 30 grand. Very nice. All right. I'm looking for an emerald. Do you have an emerald? No. You do not. Okay. Hassif. My man. You have an emerald? Emerald, emerald, emerald. A handful of gems. Jade. Hmm. No. Looks like it was in alphabetical order, too. Okay. You. Zarsi, who I've hardly ever talked to. Emerald? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And that person's in Combine, I believe. So we'll have to go down there. Alright, so let's go... Up here. Head to the tavern. See what Amiri's go got going on. I have any coffee left? Oh, a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Amiri. Remember that evil spirit who haunted the six bears? The one we drove away? Well, don't think I'm crazy, but he visited me in a dream. Says I'm a thief because I stole his sword, remember? That big one? Armog broke it. Also, says he has all my tribe as hostages. All of them. Nilak too. Says they will be dead if I don't return the sword. Did you really steal that sword from a giant? Well, oh, no need to lie about it now. I found it. I lied to everyone I took it in battle, but that giant was dead for a long time. How could I know he would, he would want his old piece of iron back? Okay. Does he know the sword is broken? He knows. I saved the hilt. The ghost tells me to forge a new blade. He even said how to do it. There's a whole ritual. Where is he keeping your tribe? He said, first I have to fix the sword, and then he will tell me where my tribe is. I'll see what I can do. I understand. The repair will cost a lot. Never held so much amount in my hand. But Nilak. The barbarian shakes her head in grief. New event, reforging the sword. Alright. Oh, hey! Your Highness, we finally meet in person. It's an honor for me. Hey, join me! It'd be cool. It would be so cool if I could have her as a mercenary. But she's probably retired after that. <laughs> after that event, I'd imagine. All right, back to the throne room. We'll start that event for Amiri. And then um, we'll head out. We'll see which uh, place is closest. We might teleport down the combine and get that uh, crafter thing done real quick, actually. Assuming it, it did say new event, right? Not new quest or anything. Yeah, other. Reforging the sword. Hey, you might as well do it. 100 BP. 45 days. Actually, 45 days is a lot. Let's have somebody who's not as good. <laughs> I might need you for something. This is the one I do want for the uh, silver step as well. Should we just do this real quick? Hmm. I also can bring people up. No, no, let's get our quest done first. Now that we can teleport all around our kingdom, it shouldn't be that hard. Or take that long. As long to get these things done. I'm hoping. Alright, we will be taking Harem with us first. 
I don't think we can do Octavia's quest yet. But yeah, we'll do one at a time. Unless I see any that are like right near each other. I have to see. That's where everything is at on the map. Okay. So, we have Harem's quest is here. Let's see. Fossil fields, wicked field, wicked hill, nod rocks. There's where Ragonga's tribe is. So we can do his when we explore, as we explore the rest of uh, Glenbon too. That'd be fine. Um, Amiri's, we have to wait for that event. Octavia's is down in Pitax. Tristan's is over here, right? Wasn't the clearing like here or something? Actually, there. So that's where Tristan's is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, first, let's go ahead and teleport over to Combine. And enter. Get this uh, errand off our list. Plus, we'll get more crafted stuff, which is nice. I guess we need to build their workshop here too, huh? They probably want that as well. There they are. Mim. Here's your emerald. Mim's eyes flash. Look at that color and the size. An excellent item. Finally, I'll be able to bring my idea to life. Wonderful. I'm ready to remain here and work for your highness. I only need a place to live and work. I've brought all the necessary tools. All I need is four walls and a roof and a salary, of course. I do need to eat, but I'll make it up to you. Awesome. Cross this task off our list. Hell yeah. Octavia. Okay. So we need to go to the kingdom. We need to build that uh, warehouse or workshop for her. Um, out of curiosity, we haven't fully built out my place, have we? I don't think we have. I think we still have some land in there we could build in. But I guess we'll wait for that. I'm going to build her place in here. So we might need to get rid of something here. Mim's jewelry shop. Plus one to economy when adjacent to a tavern or long castle. So that needs to replace the shop. Yeah. Sell that. And then the jewelry shop. And that'll take 10 days for that to be built. All right. So now we want to teleport back to, I think Cthulhu is probably the closest place to the, yeah, that's closer than this one. I guess we could see. That's 14 hours from there. Or from Glenshire, it would be nine hours, so it's faster this way. Okay. Let's go. Enter the fortress. Yeah, th this teleport network. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I remember this wasn't in the uh, game at launch, was it? Like the teleportation system. It's so nice. It'll be nice in uh, Wrath of the Righteous when I get it all set up too. Although I find that Wrath of the Righteous doesn't have as much uh, backtracking as this game does, anyway. Oh, that's not good, is it? This is ours, ours! What did you say? We will live here again. We will not leave. This is our legacy, our ancestors. Jarmold down there, please help him. 
look within. Oh, hi. I'm off. Should be a uh, buff up. Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's just back up. I wonder if I should attack those guys. They might want to attack me. Oh, geez. You got a lot of crap. I think it'll be easier just to go through here to do it. Is this a transportation elemental body earth? I don't need that. Stone skin communal, though. 10 diamond dust. I don't know how much diamond dust we have, but that'll be useful. We have 12 of it. So now we have only two of it. Or did we have 22 of it? Now we have 12. I don't know. Uh, but that's a good buff. We'll have to buy some diamond dust, I think. And then, I guess put death ward on you. Airwalk communal. Aspect of the wolf. Strong jaw. Cape of wasps. Uh, magic fang. Lay poison communal. Long strider. Uh, aspect of the bear. Bark skin. Less. But long. Oh, is that not personal? Oh, it is personal. Okay. Okay. And then what are we going to turn into? So, what is that? Okay. Um, I don't want to be an elemental. Giant fly trap, shambling mound, or a mandragora. Okay. I don't really like any of them for him. We could be a Macedon, a Smilodon. Why are these? Hmm. Guess a Mandragora. Let's try that out. Okay. I thought he'd be a big one, but I guess not. That's all right. All right. Next up. Yeah. Buff. I'm aware that we're kind of wasting some of his buff time. With this stuff, but... Alright, you're done. You're next. Alright, so that. That. And that. That. Um. And then we go. That. 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 And that. Okay. Save it. We're all buffed up. Plus, we're inside our kingdom, so we have all these buffs, too. Pretty crazy. Right there. Should be good enough. All right. Kalaki. Command me. That's not Kalaki. Kanira. <laughs> Forgot about that. All right. You're going to put the haste on. Alright, and you're just gonna have fire. Mm, good miss, good miss. Good miss, good miss. Gotta change his sword. Repent. This is where I step in. Nice. Consider me provoked. Nice. Good job, guys. We destroyed him. All right, and we go. Let's see what we've got going on in here. A 
big old hall. Hello. Whole bunch of golems and a throne. Harem, that's your throne, buddy. Beyond the open gate, you find a strange room that looks more like a workshop than the entrance to a fortress. Across the room, by the far wall, there's a metal throne. In front of it is Jarmold Skeggy, who you know well. In one hand, he holds a steel scepter, and in the other, a sacred symbol of Torag, inset with two shimmering jewels, which you recognize as the hearts of the anvil and the adamantine golem. The paladin's face is twisted by a grimace of pain and strain. You, you're here. Help, help me overcome these golems. I took the scepter from the empty throne over there, but it seems my command over the golems is lacking. If I lose control over the golems, we all die. Harem shrugs. I told you it'd be end like this, but you were dying for a legacy. And what is it that like, and what is it, and what is that legacy worth? An army of golems? Was it worth it to come all this way just to meet your death? Wouldn't it have been easier to choke to death in your mountains at home? One of the golems turns its metal face to you and speaks in harmony. You all deserve to die. Thieves and imposters. By what right do you come to this fortress? This is the Skeggy clan. They are rightful heirs of the, of the builders of this fortress. It is true. We've no business here. We should probably go. There's no one truly right. The right... It, there's only one true right, the right of strength. Um, I mean, this is kind of the truth, right? The Skeggy clan is here. They are not Skeggy. They are nameless cowards. Only I, Offield Skeggy, am worthy of bearing this clan's name. Offield Skeggy? <laughs> but you're my great great uncle. When our clan left this fortress, you and your golem stayed behind to protect it. Come to your senses, ghost. We're your descendants. You are no one. The real Skeggy would have never abandoned their creation. Those who left forever lost the right to bear this proud name. And you have the nerve to come here, to this fortress, which was built from the blood and sweat of your grandparents. And abandoned by your unworthy fathers? <laughs> you will die here together with all your henchmen. Golems attack. Grinding his teeth, Jarmold lifts the steel scepter above his head. I've... Done, I'm doing everything I can. This, but his will is too strong. Destroy the golems. Harem, you must unmake his throne. I owe you nothing. Neither you nor Torag. The gate behind you closes with a clanging sound. You will all die. You will die. You will die. A test of my abilities. Okay. Are they all adamantine golems? They sure are. Alright, we need to switch weapons. And that also means none of us attack this round. Just position ourselves. Well, you know, none of the melee attack. You can attack. Bunch of misses, though. Alright, go ahead and set that up. Whew. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> um... Move here and attack. Your life ebbs low. Okay. I do not know if this physical attacks work. Taste Let's see. They do. Okay. Oh man, these guys is hit. These guys hit hard though. So we need to make sure we are killing them quickly. I'll fight if I have Good. Good damage there. Yeah, that was great. Serves you right. All right, harem. What a waste. Not great damage there, but we'll take it. This is going to hurt. Got a hit. Another one down. You can't stop me. You deserved it. 
I don't like how he's inching closer. Become as dust. All right. If you hit, Agronax saved. If you miss, he's probably dead. Okay. Yeah, guys, that's what happens when you don't land your shots. All right, one left. Any last wishes? Hopefully, Lindsay can hold him off with her mirror image, assuming that Lindsay's the one he goes after. 54 damage. Good old mirror image. Good sneak attack. Could be better. Good. Handle the aggressive golems. Okay. That was probably a good amount of XP, dude, too, from them. <gasps> a ghost. Offield Skeggy. The last of the battle golems falls at your feet. A ghost stands to the side, shaking its fist at you. Vandals! Have you any idea how much time I spent creating them? Grinding his teeth, the paladin stands up. The, ma the magic jewels in his sacred symbol glow like red and blue flames. Be silent, ghost. In the name of Torag, I forbid you from harming the living. Be gone. That's it. Thank you, my friends. I couldn't have done it without you. Harem, please, unmake the throne so that this ghost is nowhere to return. What am I, an errand boy? Go there, unmake this. Who are you to order me around? Perhaps I should drop to my knees before Torag? Harem, I had no intention of giving you orders. Forgive me for expressing myself so poorly. I humbly ask you to help me as a friend and ally. Some friend, Harem grumbles angrily, but then looks at you with a question on his face. I don't know. Should I help him? You decided to help him. So finish what you started. Destroy the throne and say goodbye to the Skeggy clan forever. You've done... Uh, far more than they deserve. Let's go. No, help them. <laughs> uh, it looks adorable. Fine. All right. But it's the last time I'm helping you. Understood? Hammer approaches the throne with a with the skeleton and strikes it with his fist. One blow, two, and three. And the throne crumbles into pieces with a clanging sound, revealing another jewel, shimmering purple. Thank you. The paladin was be was beginning a speech, but Harem interrupts him. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now go back where you came from. I hope you try to make something useful from these pi from the pieces. Jarmold lowers his head. As you say, Your Highness, the Skeggy Clan thanks you. We are all in your debt. I'm afraid we'll have to forget the treasures of our ancestors and return home in disgrace. Farewell. Harem watches the paladin coldly. So much effort. So much suffering, and for what? They built themselves a crypt and nearly buried themselves in it. Torag. Ah, Torag. You inspire your children to build such things. Then they don't know what to get rid of. Don't know how to get rid of them. Fools. Alright, let's go. There's no point standing here. Alright, well, I mean, there's some point. Look at this treasure. Fleming Burst Adamantine Dwarven Urgosh plus three. That sounds expensive. It's only 12,000 gold? Come on. I'm there. We need to excavate this stuff ourselves if, if the dwarves aren't going to stay here to do it. Untold treasures, you say. Good XP there. We're only about 30,000 away from the next level. That's really good. Okay. Did we finish that quest? No. Set off for the... Set off for the lost Dwarven, Dwarven Fortress. Oh, we are, but I guess maybe there's more to it when we leave. Look within. I don't know. Doesn't say we're done. Hmm. Maybe there's something out here. We should probably heal then. In case there is something out here. Harriman exits the dungeon without looking back. His face bears a strange expression. 
a pensive half smile. You know, Hagunak, I think I've just realized something. Something very, very important. I need to ponder it further. Let's talk about this later, after we return to the capital. Sure, buddy. Talk to Harem. Try and use. There we go. Oh, they took their golems with them? They could have left those for us. It would have been nice to have those guard in the capital. I do what I must. Have those stationed right outside the throne room? That'd be nice. That would that'd be really badass, actually. I think if I was a king in this world, I'd probably try and get some golems constructed for me. Guess the only worry is if somebody else can take control over them. Okay. So back to Glenshire, and then we'll teleport to the capital. We'll rest because we're on death's door. Then I think we'll go explore the Glimbon and uh, help uh, Reg. So back to Tuskdale. Go ahead, head on in. And throne room first. I could probably talk to him here too, I I think. That'll save me some time. Ah, Mim. Greetings. Mim's face shines with enthusiasm. The trade in your kingdom is so lively that I'm literally overflowing with commissions. It's splendid. The more interesting the challenge, the better. Finally, I have labored long on a special present for you, your highness. Mim is best, is the best, isn't she? We got fortunate fencer. A uh, rapier? No. This ring grants us wearer plus two bonus attack rolls with melee weapons. Holy shit. I'll take that. That is actually really good. Thank you. All right, Harem. Is he not a counselor? I don't think he is anymore, is he? Okay, well, we'll, we'll sleep then first. Very good. I'm there. Very good. Oh, what's going on here? Going south. The treasurer equipped with daredevils, equipped the daredevils with supplies and food stuff. On the return, they donated a part of their booty to the treasury, plus nine to economy. Hell yeah, look at our economy is insane. So is our military. Damn, we are popping off. Choking death, a devastating epidemic from Iobaria has struck the local region. It is not the first time choking death has desolated a country. Precautions must be taken before the kingdom turns into a wasteland of dead men and monsters. Ooh, yikes, even he's struggling. Damn, that's 35. That's insane. Like, genuinely. <laughs> Could I increase the warden's skill? Yeah. Let's do that. Seven more days. That's fine. I'm glad it doesn't take 14 days any longer. Disaster from you, yeah. Failure from you, yeah. It's not good. She's going to have a disaster too, more than likely. Warden seeks my advice. Forgotten knowledge. Damn, even you suck at this. The DCs are getting so difficult. <laughs> Um, let's go talk to the warden. Tough shit today, Agronak. The barbarians are still pecking at the, boor the border regions. They've gathered into raider raiding parties and started harassing our peasants. Of course, the peasants are completely uh, incapable of standing their ground, so they keep jumping into the corpse pile leaving us fewer and fewer subjects and servants each day. How dare they, the traitorous bastards. So I see two solutions here. 
A bad one and a glorious one. We could send a whole regiment of guards to the villages, tell them to dig in and hope that the barbarians run out of the woods and stick themselves on their spears. Or we could do it like this. I'll gather a small squad of my best boys and girls and assign them to a captain. I know, a smart fellow, thinks on his feet. They'll scour the area, find these blasted savages and rip off their hairy, well, they'll know what kind of things are best to rip off. So what say you? Not a bad idea, eh? We'll take the initiative. Gather your troops and drive the barbarians from my lands. It wouldn't be a surprise if that's exactly what they wanted us to do. Start chasing them off the hills. Double the guard in all the raided regions. We shall defend ourselves. Huh, I trust you. The half orc's eyes light up with excitement. Just what I'd like to hear, Agonak. The troops will march today. New event. Fortifying the foundation. Very good. Getting that stability up. Alright, what is our stability at anyway? It's probably pretty high. 179. Yeah, our stability is doing pretty well. We are just stable though. And we need to get that up. Fortifying foundations. Um, I guess that could be good. Minting coin. Insufficient funds. We should probably do that too. 45 days. Go and purchase some BP. For this stuff. I'm going to start that project. And we can do this one too. The warden can be ranked up again. And obviously we have choking death. Which will... Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Yeah, we can't do this. I gotta have you on that. Ah, uh, 45% chance. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, that has to be done because that's going to trigger at the end of this month, right? Okay. Well, hopefully we'll be getting some good BP. I actually don't know if that one was worth it. But we're making plenty of BP and I have plenty of money, so I think we'll be okay. All right, let's go talk to Harem. In due time. Harem! Yeah, we still have some building spots as well. I was kind of hoping I'd get like a, the Royal Museum, but I think we have to rank up Lindsay more. I think I saw somewhere that you have to have culture five to unlock that. I would like a Royal Museum though. Big fan of museums. I used to, like one of my, um, Thoughts for like a potential career choice was to be a museum curator. I thought that would be a lot of fun. And they make about the same money I make as a teacher. Freaking whatever. <laughs> Let's not talk about money. <laughs> and I wish I had the money that Agronac had. That'd be great. I'd be a happy boy. I'm off. All right, Harem. A great view from here. It is over. Yes, I thought I was free of my past burdens when I accepted Grotus's truth into my heart. But it's only now that I have become truly free. It's perfect. This is what this land's for. You know, Agronak, I used to hate them all so much. The dwarves who ousted me. The god who rejected me. Now I look upon this and I barely remember that hatred. How pathetic they are. With their pride and their stubbornness. Building their toys to die among them. Powerless to unmake the things they've made. I'd laugh, but in fact, it makes me want to cry. But on the other hand, I thought... How should I put it? Aaron wraps his beard around his fist. My gift. Wherever it came from. The gift to destroy. To help others create. Perhaps my god does something similar. Everything that has a beginning has an end as well. One day, Grotus will be free and destroy this world. But imagine what will happen after, after the end. Perhaps a new beginning, a new creation and a new world. Who knows, who knows? Anyway, thank you, Agunak, 
Without you, I would have kept going in circles while resentment and hatred gnawed at me from the inside. You helped me find peace. And I swear by Grotus, I won't leave your side until it's our turn to crumble to dust. That's actually super sweet. It's good that we helped that paladin. It was an act of kindness. We may have made a mistake. It's a pity we didn't have a time to find out who, or according to Dwarven law, has the better claim to the fortress, the living and the dead. I don't care about the Skeggy and their argument, but I'm glad you got something out of this. Forgive me for letting these Skeggy drag you into their scrawl, into the squabbles. I should have sent them away at once. I'm like any of these options. Like we should be responding to this, not, I don't know. Ah, I'm sorry I let them draw, drag you into it. Don't apologize. I gave in to their vanity myself. In the end, it was not for nothing. The covetous proudlings were ridiculous and pathetic. But I still learned a lesson. I saw the shadow of a higher truth in their, early du in their earthly dust. I care not for who won the fortress. What, dawns, what draws my mind are thoughts of my place in the world. And the true meaning of serving Grotus. Destroying creating something new from the pieces and destroying it again. Isn't that what you're doing now here in the Stolen Lands? You have built your kingdom upon the ashes of countless predecessors. Ponder this while you have, when you have the time. That was good. The unmaking. Awesome. All right, let's head out of here. I still don't know where this stupid well is. Greetings, your highness. It's an honor to have you here. Now I can deliver all kinds of magical rarities for you from all across Galarian. You may order something specific, if you choose, or I can act on my own accord. As I said, nothing is impossible. Let's discuss this exquisite item you can get only for me. She clasps, she clasps her hands in frustration. Oh, your highness, this is so embarrassing. I'd love to do... I'd love to, but there's something... I have an associate, shall we say. Name's Ollie. He's a human. My gopher. Long legs, straight, strong. He was due back with payment for a, for a fat contract three days ago. I have a feeling that something happened to him. Or worse, that he fled with my money. Which is promised as a down payment to my partner for that rarity I was procuring for you. Ollie has the chest of gemstones stashed somewhere near the southern border. Without that, we're never settling... We're never getting your relic. She pauses for a moment. Why, if someone could find Ollie, maybe visit his family at Lake Silverstep, or talk to his wife, Lit Litica. No, it, it doesn't feel right to request this of you, your highness. Describe Litica. I can find her. How would I know what she looks like? I never paid attention when Ollie talked about his family. Adorable, charming kids, his wife always waiting by the water for him to return from adventures. Yuck. If you need to borrow money to pay your partner, I can help you out. She shakes her head. I wish it were so easy, your highness. These aren't ordinary coins we're talking about. These are genuine gemstones suitable for crafting magical items. I've been looking for them for so long and traded quite a valuable piece for them. You showed up and revealed your hand so easily. What's the real reason behind that? I could have thrown you in prison, you know? She shakes her head. Nothing escapes your eye, your highness. The truth is that it was worth the risk. Our contract is as profitable for me as it is for you. Royal favor is the best insurance against the mob of enemies I've made over the many years of traveling. I'd rather have your highness as a friend than hire a bunch of bodyguards. Tell me about yourself. She tuts. Tut tuts. <laughs> I really don't think this is necessary, your highness. You're such a good half-orc. I don't feel like pulling the wool over your eyes. However, I'm afraid you won't believe my stories without at least a little wool there to smooth things over. How are things going in the shop? Very well. Could it be better? You know, there are so many magical trinkets hunters in your hand hunt magical trinket hunters in your lands. They want to grab everything. Be it expensive bric a brac or a sophisticated professional tool. But don't you worry. Whatever orders I receive, yours always come first. Can I buy something from you right now? Sorry to disappoint you. Everything I have in the shop has been ordered individually. That's how I do things. Alright. 
Yeah, we do need to go and talk to all of our crafters again, too. Make sure we're not missing anything. I had completely forgot that Erlene had a shop here. I still don't know what to do about this well situation. Might have to look that up. Yeah, the one bad thing... We need to take Trishan with us. The one bad thing about doing this, uh... Getting so far ahead in the recording... Is I can't really ask you guys for help. Because by the time you guys get to this episode... Honestly, by the time you guys see this episode, I'll probably be done with the game. With how quickly I'm... Or how much I'm... Trying to record ahead. I guess it really depends on how... How truly busy I get. This first, first month of school. But, um... Yeah. I don't generally like recording so far ahead, but since we're playing two games and they're really long games and I do have other games I want to get to. Um, I did see, I didn't see if it was confirmed or anything. I just saw a headline that Avowed got uh, delayed, which is good for me because <laughs> um, that is a game we are going to play on the channel, but we had to, we had to make sure we have time for it. All right, so she said that was on the southern border. Southern border of what? So that's where we got to go for... We'll have to look at it. Um, so we got to go down here for... Um, what's his face? Just looking over everything. There's not anything that was newly discovered, was there? I, I remember we did the scouting thing. I don't see anywhere that's like new. Because usually they sparkle, right? Hopefully. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, that's good. All right, well, I suppose now's a good time to end the episode. I guess we have to go to Silver Step for that, right? We turn the chest to genuine gemstones. Okay. Yeah, we could do... Which one's closer? 10 hours? Uh, 7 hours. This is closer. Okay. So we, we can do that, and then we can go to Silver Step. That would add it. It's going to be another, what, 13 hours from the shrine? A bit of traveling, but then we'll make it back to the capital. I wonder if it's faster to go to Combine or the capital from there. With Combine, you do have to go through the, um, the mountain passes here. All right, well, enough stalling. Let's go ahead and wrap up the episode. Next one, we'll go help Tristian and uh, the crafter here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Until then, hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later.